This summer I changed the self-steering on my Halcyon 27 Nimbus. The previous Navic system worked okay, but was vulnerable at my mooring. Deploying the Navic involved hanging over the stern and connecting the fragile mechanism, which was really tricky with any swell running. Replacing the wind vane was straightforward. A U-shaped tube mounted horizontally to the stern cleared the rudder. This was braced to the push pit by two struts. When berthed, I wanted to lift the unit out of the way of the mooring lines, so fixed a secondary mounting bolt on the push pit. I can stow the whole unit easily by undoing a single bolt. I can lift the whole unit easily from one boss to the other. The standard wind paddle was going to be just a bit too tall and clash with my radar arch. So I fitted a shorter wider one, cut from 6mm ply, this is the prototype. The cranked handle allows the course to be adjusted. And you can see the mechanism as I'm moving the wind paddle. When underway, the Neptune is moved from the push pit and fitted to the stern bracket. The water paddle is held well clear of the water, with the helmsman steering the boat. When you want to use the self-steering, the line holding the water paddle upright is undone and the paddle swings down into the water 180 degrees. So here's the unit in action, beating into light winds. The steering chain drops over the autopilot pin fitted to the tiller, so engaging and disengaging is dead easy. The wind here is about 7 or 8 knots and was due to pick up later on in the day. Here we've got 10 to 12 knots and we're moving a bit quicker. for the electric autopilot as well. The cranked handle you can see allows the course to be changed. I'm using the cranked handle to change course one turn changes the boat's heading by about 6 degrees. If you look at the shoreline, you can see the boat changing course. <laughs> 